All right, sounds very good. Looks very good on the video that you sent. So hopefully that means that understanding the rhythm stuff has gotten easier, getting a bit better. Uh, so let's continue on with some new stuff. So as per usual in these videos, I'd like you to try figuring out what it is you're counting first. And also want to implement a slightly different approach on practice. So as it says at the top of each sheet now, spend no more than 10 minutes per day working it up in five beat per minute increments and see how fast you can get. So no repeats right now. Just want to see how this goes. Um, works well with a lot of people. So I want to see how it goes with you as well. Now a big thing to keep in mind here, and one reason I've had like speed caps for people for a while, and it's because sometimes people will end up going too fast and then they lose track of the metronome. They don't know if they're on it anymore or not. So that's also why I'm going to keep it 10 minutes. 10 minute rule for this stuff. Now, depending on how, you're pra how much time you have to practice, let's say you do have just the 20 minutes to practice. Well, maybe just do like six minutes for each of them, and then that'll be good. So just kind of use the time you have to plan out how the practice session will be. But I'd like you to cap it at 10 minutes to see where you can get. And then the more efficient you are going from 60 to 65, 70, 75, and so on, you'll be able to reach faster speeds by the end of the week. You should be, be making less mistakes, right? Now, any time you have any doubts as to whether you played it correctly or not, assume that you did not play it correctly and stay there until it feels right. Okay? And, as per usual, always end on a good take. So don't end a practice session with like, well, maybe it was right. No, you want to end it with, I know that was right. Okay. So if that means you have to back it down a little bit, do so. Okay, so we have more eighth note stuff. We got a couple, one extra tied note now. So we're increasing the amount of downbeats that we do not play on. So we are not playing on the downbeat of two or the downbeat of three for number one. So again, see if you can figure out how to count this prior to watching what's about to happen. Here we go, number one, 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, one, and, and, four, one, and, and, four, one, and, and, four, one, and, and, four, done. Double time. 120, one, one more speed at 160, just to reference. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, so I'm not saying that you need to get to 160, but if you do get to 160, now you have a speed to uh, reference there. If you would like any other speed demos, let me know. All right, 60 beats per minute for number two. One, two, three, four. One, two, and, and, and one, two, and. Wrong chord one, two, one, two, three, four, 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 one,
And now everybody's favorite. Coming in on the upbeat of one again. Alright. Number three. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and two, three, four, and two, three, four, and and two, three, four, and done. Number 20. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and two. One, two, one, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and 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 done. And there we go. All right. So if any questions come up, please let me know. Hope you have a good holiday, and I will see you again next week.